a few new English teachers recently. Have you heard about them? Yeah, Miss Chen teaches me English. Oh, really? But do you really know them well? Mm, not really. How about we go and find out more interesting facts about them? Good idea! Let's go! Share an English song that you have listened to recently. I like um, Shake It Off by Taylor Swift very much. I listen to it every day. I've been listening to old songs from the early 2000s just to remind because I kind of miss uh, the time, that time period. So one song that I've been listen, listening to on repeat is Brightside, uh, Mr. Brightside by The Killers. I've been listening to uh, Memories by Maroon 5 recently. Uh, the lyrics is good, the melody is good, so uh, if you haven't listened to it before, like, I recommend you to uh, recommend you checking it out. What do you do in your spare time? What are your hobbies? Um, I usually read books. I like um, suspense and thriller stories. I sometimes watch Netflix as well. And my favorite show is Friends. So generally, I do like reading, but because it's been quite busy lately, I do more exercises to relieve stress, uh, as well as watch some comedy shows. I actually uh, have a lot of different hobbies. Uh, I like playing sports and I love basketball. I love playing basketball most. And I picked up skateboarding last year, and sometimes I also play guitar and drums, but I'm not really good at playing musical instruments. If you are not a teacher, what will you be? I'd like to believe that I would be able to pursue my dream as a writer, uh, either writing a fiction novel or, or a children's literature book. So just now I told you I like playing basketball, right? And I also enjoy watching basketball. So when I was younger, I thought of being a sports journalist or a sports reporter, like especially for basketball. I would definitely love to work um, in a bookstore or I will also want to be a florist because I like flowers. Then, it's time for the Never Have I Ever Challenge. Hooray! I can't wait for it! So later, I'll ask each of you a question. Not each of you a question, but ask you some questions. If you have done it, then raise the, the one saying why and yes. If not, then no. So shall we start? Yeah. Okay, so the first question. Never have I ever got injured because <coughs> I was on my phone while walking. No. Always pay attention to the road. Yes. I get annoyed at people who are too engrossed in their phones while yeah. walking. That's especially true in for, for true life because we, we always have a lot of traffic around school. Mm. <laughs> do not walk. Okay, that's very nice. Let's go to the next one. Never have I ever called the wrong person, but pretended I'm meaning to call him or her. <laughs> Sorry. Because <laughs> okay. I like, I, well, I teach two Form 1 classes and I always like mix up the names. So like one time, and there are, I don't know why there are a lot of like Haley's in Form 1. And, and I just call like, oh, Haley, but, but then she's not like that, the Haley that I wanted to call. So I'll be like, oh, no, 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 I mean you. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> Haley, Haley Wong, not, not Haley Chan, right? I'll be like that. Actually, yeah. now that I think about it, yeah, I think the same thing happened to right, me in yeah. one of my classes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. And sometimes it's like, I call, say, like, Zoe, but then so I, I look at this direction, but then Zoe was like, you know, Zoe's on the other side. I'm like, Zoe, yay, <laughs> hi. And then I'm like, yay, shh. Chloe, shh, shh. I'll, I'll be like that, yeah. Okay, that's really nice. Uh, okay, never have I ever taken someone's things for belonging that wasn't mine. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I recall. <laughs> I like I always steal stationery from like different classrooms. Oh. <laughs> yes, always. 
Like I, what? I, well, I, I, you know, I don't mean to like steal <coughs> the, the pens, but then sometimes I, I don't have a pen, and then I use the pen, and then I'll carry the pen to another classroom or mm. to my to my seat, you know. I think. Yeah, true. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of similar uh, to Miss Chen's. Uh, <coughs> Uh, I mean, uh, our, our experience is kind of similar, but uh, one extra thing that I recall is that when I was a student myself, uh, I, I was that type of student who, who didn't really like writing my names on my like stationery and also like textbooks like whatever. Mm. And then so somehow I, 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 I always don't know if the book belongs to me. And then it's like whenever I see a book, then I, I, it's on my desk, then I think, oh, it's mine. But then, oh, it turns out to be like some friends of mine actually put their books on my desk and I, accidentally took theirs, but um, this, is, uh, this isn't really good, so don't learn from me. Bad example. Okay, now it's the last question. <coughs> Never have I ever gone to the wrong classroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, very <laughs> like, all the time. All is the it? time. Yeah, because like, again, I, like, I teach two Foreman classes, so I always like mix up, oh, which classroom which I'm going to. I don't know. It hasn't happened to me yet in this school, but in the, my previous school, when I was very new, it was within the first two weeks of going to the classes. Um, yeah, I went to the wrong classroom, but the students didn't say anything. Like, <laughs> they just let it be until like 10 minutes later, a teacher was like knocking on the door outside and like questioning why I was there. That's when I found it. And, I'm, and I was like looking at the students like, thank you. For, for giving like you know for giving me time mm -hmm. and so yeah hopefully it doesn't happen here. Now, this would be one of the most embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's an embarrassing moment. <laughs> yeah. Now let me announce the winner. So the person who has done the least embarrassing thing at school or not at school is Mr. Jason Lamb. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations for not living your life. Now, do you know more about the new sides of the English teachers? Yeah, thanks for your help. I can't believe there's so many interesting facts about them. There are a few more new English teachers we haven't found out. Let's find them next time. Sure, I can't wait to know more about them.